Hi guys, so this is going to be for Leo. I hope you guys are doing well. So for you guys, the sun is what rules over Leo, the fiery sun, masculine fire. And the sun is in watery Scorpio. So Scorpio is the house of shared resources, um, endings and beginnings, major transformation. We also have Venus returned home to its um, home sign of Libra. So love, compassion, forgiveness, everything that has to do with love and things that you cherish and value is in the house of partnering, equality. Um, the house of Libra is about justice, fairness, and balance in partnerships. And Venus returning there is very positive. It's exalted in Libra. The sun in Scorpio can intensify emotions to the point where people feel very nostalgic. We have Mercury in retrograde in Scorpio as well. I believe it moved into Libra for a minute and it's right on the cusp. But it's about nostalgia, looking back at the past, possibly even thinking about the past. Past relationships, past feelings, past decisions. So Scorpio is the energy of shared resources, who we share our lives with and the transformation, the endings and the beginnings. So let's see what is gonna come in here for the sign of Leo, angels and spirit guides for the next 48. What is coming in for the sign of Leo? What is coming in for Leo, angels, and spirit guides? What do we need to see for Leo? What do they need to acknowledge? King of Earth. So you could be dealing with any Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. This is about money. It says a successful time. Confidently accept an opportunity that you're offered. Having the Midas touch where everything that you touch turns to gold. Everything you touch becomes very successful. It could be an earth sign who's a leader that you're dealing with. Somebody who's very strong, practical, professional, um, methodical, very strategic. We have the energy of ten of fire, having a lot of responsibilities. It says too much work, stress-related stress related health. I mean, it just means some of you are working really hard, putting in overtime at work. And it's physical. Fire is about physical work, too. So lifting. Okay, so I have a two of water, though. So there's a lot of harmony between you and this person. Um, positive resolution of a conflict, forgiveness. This is a relationship that's in balance. Feelings are mutual. They like you, you like them. It's a card of... A card of emotional harmony with you and another person what's in the recent past or what's crowning let's see what's crowning for leo okay we have a two of air needing to make a decision Feeling conflicted, mentally conflicted about a situation where you're trying to choose between two different situations. You're having a choice that you need to make. What's in the past energy here for Leo? going to pick one page of earth okay any Taurus Capricorn or Virgo person somebody it could be good news about finances entering a new area of study what's coming in the future energy is a ten of water a very contented rewarding family or emotional life it's about total emotional fulfillment the ten of cups it could mean that something very 
happy is going to happen for you. You're going to get some really good news. Two of air is like, you're not sure. Right now you could be at a stalemate, but something very good is coming in for you. Very emotionally fulfilling, very happy. It's the rainbow after a storm. Wow, so you could have some kind of a, an awakening. This is a tower moment. So something here unexpectedly happens that is very happy for you. Having a revelation, having some kind of wake up call. Okay, so somebody around you, seven of air, could be trying to avoid um, talking to you about a conflict. They're trying to just avoid having to have this talk. You have a, a wake up call here with the, the awakening. Um, your mind, you can see a situation differently. Okay, so what is coming in here for Leo? To a fire, once again, needing to make a choice. A new partnership or contract, things are starting to flourish or take off, either at work or in a relationship. Things are starting to expand. What is the tower for Leo? What is the life event? We do have several yods today, hands of fate or destiny going on. And with Scorpio, it could be strong feelings, strong emotions. So we have the star card needing to heal. It's about spiritual healing. Make a positive, optimistic, long-term plan. You're on the right path. It's also about letting go of the past, letting go of um, old emotions, old feelings. You're putting the water energy, the emotions behind you like water under the bridge. It came out with the card of unity which is um, the Hierophant. This is about traditions, spiritual viewpoints that has to do with marriage or traditional relationships. Maybe some of you are thinking about letting go of a marriage, putting a marriage behind you, you're considering you're kind of conflicted about a relationship with the two of air, the two of fire, and the tower. You're kind of conflicted. What is the two of air? Self-control. So there could be a reason. It could be somebody comes back from the past and you're unsure about them. It takes strength, fortitude, and resilience to move forward. What is the two of fire for Leo? What is the two of fire? What is the two of fire crossroads energy for Leo? This could also be in a job. Wow. So you could be at a crossroads over a job or about a long-term relationship. It is very happy, financial security, a happy family life. Ten of Earth is about long-term stability. It's about money, wealth, abundance, having a legacy. So you've got Ten of Cups, or Ten of Cups, Ten of Earth, Ten of Coins. You have a very secure foundation what is the ten of unless you have something very good coming in for you here something very prosperous that will make you really happy what is the ten of water okay so some of you could be in a long-term relationship and you have the illusion that you're trapped you're not trapped you could feel conflicted about whether you want to be in a committed relationship. Maybe somebody has recently won, asked you to be in a commitment. What is the eight of air? What is the eight of air? What 
What is the A to bear? Okay, it looks like either there's an earth sign coming towards you. They're very loyal. They're very dependable. They're there for you all the time. Um, it could be an ex. It could be somebody from your past, eight of earth. It could be somebody you work with. This could also be entirely about money. This could just be money because ten of earth is the outcome. Financial security. You have all these offers coming in. Eight of air, though, means you're stressed, you feel like you're trapped, you don't know what to do, but then we have Ten of Cups, happiness, joy, success, with Earth sign energy coming in. With an offer, or it could be a love offer. What is the Seven of Swords in the environment? What is the Seven of Swords? Somebody's trying to avoid... Right, trying to avoid the five of air, trying to avoid a conflict. Okay, so what do we have for the two of cups? What is the two of cups? What is the two of cups for Leo? What is the Two of Cups for Leo? The Nine of Water. So a wish comes true. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. Having a love of life. So this could be like your dream person, your dream job. A wish comes true for you. Ten of Earth. What is Ten of Earth? That's money, wealth, abundance, financial security, commitments. What is Ten of Earth for Leo? Could be a raise, something you've worked for. What is the Ten of Earth? I'm going to just pull this one. It looks like it won Two of Earth. And the magician, manifestation. You made something happen. Could be a Gemini, but I don't see a lot of air energy. Page of Fire. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. Nine of Earth. Financial comfort financial success and comfort this is a great offer whatever it is but you're conflicted about it for some reason you're conflicted although it's a wish coming true you could also be content this could be you're content in a relationship but then there's there's like another offer it could be about love the angel of love just flipped it could also be about a job because earth is about money, career, resources, things. Wow. So we have healer of the ages, very spiritual with the card of Jesus. Forgiving, unconditional love here. And then we have here, First Chakra, Survival, Archangel Michael, you are protected. Wow. Um, I'm going to leave it here for you, Leo. Hopefully this resonates. Thank you very much, and take care.